Question number seven, Dr. Kennedy Graham. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, question to the Minister of Foreign Affairs: Will he give an assurance that New Zealand's armed forces will not be used in any possible military intervention in Syria in violation of the United Nations Charter? The Honourable Jonathan Coleman, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, yes. Dr. Kennedy Graham. Thank you. Does he, is he then, in that case, in a position to confirm that the government does not support external military involvement in Syria unless it responds to a Security Council resolution authorising it? That is to say, no coalition of the willing is legal without that mandate. The Honourable Jonathan Cole. On behalf of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, New Zealand always follows new, uh, UNSC resolutions, so we wouldn't be doing anything in violation of that. Dr Kennedy Graham. Will New Zealand condemn military intervention in Syria under the responsibility to protect principle without a council resolution, given that major powers such as Russia and China would then be free to do precisely the same thing, including in the Asia-Pacific re region? The Hon. Jonathan Coleman. Uh, well, that's a hypothetical situation, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Dr Kennedy Graham. Will he then confirm that New Zealand is bound by the World Summit Outcome Resolution of the UN General Assembly in 2005 that any intervention under responsibility to protect is legal only when it is authorised by the Security Council Resolution. The Honourable Jonathan Coleman. On behalf of the Minister, I'm not familiar with that resolution, but we do follow international law. Dr Kennedy Graham. <clears throat> Does it mean, just to be clear, that New Zealand will never commit its armed forces to military action without a Security Council resolution authorising it. The Honourable Jonathan Coleman. Uh, on behalf of the Minister, that's what I said at the start. Dr Thank you. Kennedy Graham. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Thank you, Minister. Should New Zealand impose economic sanctions or leadership sanctions against Syria, as has been done by the Arab League, the EU and the US? The Honourable Jonathan Coleman. Should we oppose economic sanctions? Um, we'll look... Mr McCulley has made uh, New Zealand's uh, order. It seems there may have been a misunderstanding here, and, uh, and it's not the Minister's fault. I invite uh, Im impose. Uh, Kenny Grant to clarify it. Impose economic impose sanctions. sanctions. Yeah. Uh, On behalf of the, the Minister, Honourable we're Trump. not in a position to impose economic sanctions because we don't actually have any trade with Syria. <laughs> Dr Kennedy Graham. Will he call upon the Syrian government... Will he call upon the Syrian government to release the 37,000 or so civilians who have been detained in prison since the unrest began as a move towards the kind of reconciliation the UN Secretary General and High Commissioner for Human Rights are appealing for? The Honourable John Half the Minister, I'm pretty sure we've already done that. Question number eight, Nikki Wagner. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of 